Deputy First Minister of Scotland John Swinney Deputy First Minister John Swinney and a Tory MSP have been criticised for attending a dinner staged by an all-male society that dates back to the 19th century. Swinney, who is part of a government that backs gender equality, was at the top table for an event hosted by the Society of High Constables of Perth. However, a source said that Tory MSP Alexander Stewart was also at the dinner and a Perth and Kinross Tory website lists him as a high constable. According to the Society's website, the body was formed in 1830 and its 100 members have a common interest in upholding the history and traditions of Perth. Primary duties involve parading on civic occasions at the request of the provost and all members swear an allegiance to the Queen. However, while women are invited to the annual dinner as guests, all 100 members are male. The website states that the society uniform includes a morning coat, striped trousers, tie, silk top hat, white gloves and official badges. A report of the organization's annual dinner from earlier this month reported that Swinney and Perth and Kinross Council Chief Executive Bernadette Malone were amongst the high-profile guests. Provost Dennis Melloy, a Tory councillor, gave an address at the event. Asked about the exclusion of women as members, society moderator Charles Gallagher told this newspaper, if it comes in front of us, it would need to be voted on. Me personally, it wouldn't bother me. I'd see it as a big issue. The Perth and Kinross Tory website contains a biography of Stewart, he is also a high constable of the city of Perth. It is unclear whether this is still accurate. Labour MSP Rhoda Grant said, this looks like an error of judgment from John Swinney and Alexander Stewart. I hope they took the opportunity to raise the issue of men-only organizations with the moderator. An SNP spokesperson said, as a hard-working local MSP John Swinney attends a wide range of events in his constituency to support people across Perth, Shire North. The SNP have led the way with our efforts to promote gender equality, not just in politics but in wider civil society, and we are clear that membership of organizations, including historical societies, should be equally open to women. A Scottish Tory spokesman said, this is pathetic behaviour from Labour. Petty sniping from the wilderness will do nothing to improve their pitiful standing in Scottish politics. In 2013, former First Minister Alex Salmond said he would not attend the Open Championship at the Muirfield Golf Course in July of that year, on account of the men-only membership rules. He said at the time, I just think it's indefensible in the 21st century not to have a golf club that's open to all. But to have the message that women are not welcome as members. Can't be members, can't have playing rights over the course on the same basis as men, seems to send out entirely the wrong message about the future of golf. The club later overturned the policy.